just documenting that it is currently almost 11 a.m. Oh, it's so dark in my house. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I, I, they're just, I keep using the same verbiage over and over, but truly, uh, I'm just in shock, really. I'm in shock. I'm in shock that, uh, let's see, for about eight and a half hours, we were breathing ash and didn't know it. Um, uh, it's just crazy. Because oddly enough, and that's the other thing about this, as much ash as there is and as orange and red, all the, the smoke in the skies, there is absolutely no smell of smoke. <laughs> Zero. Either I've become really accustomed to breathing and inhaling and smelling, you know, fire that I've grown, I've acclimated myself to that, or I don't know. I don't know. It's just unbelievable. We've been also warned that the pg e may cut off. Again, this happened last year. I think I put up a video about that. Um, where pg e uh, predicted, you know, over 40 mile an hour winds, which never happened, by the way. I think our wind got up to about six miles an hour. They still cut off pg e where it was off for three days, I think. And, uh, of course, you know, that's actually okay. I can live without power. It's not a big deal. We, we have backup for that. But the fact that they shut our phones off and there was zero internet that entire time. So there was, there was literally no communication with our families or friends. Um, we had to travel several miles away from where we're at just to be able to make a phone call and send a text message. And along with the warning, <laughs> this is so funny to me, along with the warning that pg e will cut power, they also said, oh, tr by the way, try not to call 911. <laughs> so I, I thought that was quite humorous. Don't, you know, don't call for help if you need it because <laughs> you're not going to get it. Just gobsmacked right now. I really, uh, it, it's it, it, waking up to this. This morning. yesterday was warm. It, it had cooled off a bit. We've had a huge heat wave going on here, record-breaking temperatures. Um, on top of you know fire and all of that good stuff, and on top of <laughs> the pandemic, we won't even get into that. Um, it was actually quite a beautiful day yesterday. Um, there was blue skies and a nice offshore breeze. Um, quite pleasant. And then we, we wake up to this nightmare again. It's just, it's just amazing how quickly they can <laughs> turn the tables. Um, I've put up, I didn't put up the video, but I put a white napkin up there. It's a little bit wet. I just want to see how much ash accumulates on that. Because like I said, we have no AC. That also is not a big deal. I can live without a lot of the, you know, luxuries of life. Um, but to not be able to leave your window open to get fresh air is just, really, just the icing on the cake of powers that be and what they're doing. Um, but I will say that I will not let this <laughs> destroy me, even though we can't work in this. Uh, work is shut down right now, so, you know, paying rent and all that good stuff is on hold. Um, but I'm not. This is what they want. They want us to cower in our homes and be depressed and, you know, act crazy, act out so that we can be, have the finger pointed at us like, 
we've done something wrong. But I will not let this get me down because I know ultimately God is in control. God is in control. That you can rest assured on because I will. My spirit will not get down. My soul will still soar with positivity, with truth. Trust in God and not in man. 